my father's uh, you know nature was uh, more because of his frustrations about not finding a place for himself i had stitches as well on my left eye I didn't play for a while but i came back and got runs against the same fast bowlers in their backyard Rahul Dravid I was more impressed than Saurav Ganguly uh, you know uh, that, that than I was with Saurav Ganguly much earlier but the way they batted in that series 96 I knew my time was up couple of uh, instances where I thought that you know he was not just another guy who played for India and you know there was more to Vijay Mandrika than just being a batsman who averaged 39 Irappalli Prasanna one of the greatest uh, you know off spinners this game has seen has sort of acknowledged and proclaimed that uh, my father was the best batsman that he bowled to you know on all platforms so not just when he used to meet me and say that your father was a great player but he said that on all platforms you ask him today as well he say that Vijay Mandrake was the best batsman that he bowled to and the other person is Tiger Pathodi Now Tiger Pathodi is a guy who doesn't beat around the bush he's not diplomatic he never lies and he said that vijay mandreka was the best indian batsman that he saw so that was really high praise that is when i realized that you know he was um, an exceptional cricketer and uh, you know one of uh, the cricketers that a uh, lot of his colleagues and contemporaries uh, rate very highly strongest emotion that i had about my father was fear he was the typical you know uh, parent from the uh, 70s and 80s where generally sons were sort of fearful of their father but my father's uh, you know nature was uh, more because of his frustrations about not finding a place for himself post his retirement as a cricketer he tried to sort of fit into the cricketing world as an ex cricketer as a coach and struggled a bit so he basically was a lost soul and uh, you know that was reflected in the way he was at home and trying to be a parent I think my first 100 against West Indies in Barbados because the innings before that was my debut innings and I was hit on my eye and I was retired hurt in the second inning I had stitches as well on my left eye I didn't play for a while but I came back and got runs against the same fast bowlers in their backyard you know in Barbados one of the uh, quicker pitches in West Indies so that shows a bit of my character that I was always somebody who was willing to put himself in the firing line despite you know whatever my uh, confidence levels were at the time so that is one innings that defines me the other one is uh, at a lower level uh, this was uh, ranji trophy game versus hyderabad in the semis uh, of the ranji trophy played at the wankhede stadium and this was in peak summer uh, at the wankhede stadium and there is no hotter place in mumbai city in peak summer than the wankhede stadium and i got 377 versus hyderabad now obviously the attack wasn't the greatest there were a couple of international bowlers there but my fight against the weather the the amount of time that i batted and just carried on again showed you know my nature and uh, my sort of the trait that i had that i i am a bit of a fighter i keep going you know despite all odds and that innings not, was not so much about the quality of the innings that i played or the shots that i played it was about just enduring the weather at the time on the tour of 96 when both these guys established tour of england uh, saurav ganguly you know the way he batted in the warm up games uh, to, to begin with before the test series started um, it was the first half of the summer it was cold in england the ball was moving around a lot of us were struggling but not saurav ganguly for some reason you know he was uh, in such a great uh, mindset and great form that he just looked so much easier than the others yeah, i remember that he had a lot of time at the uh, at that time to be playing the fast bowlers and you know i remember talking to ajay jareja about it and both of us felt that you know this might be the tour or the series that will make saurav ganguly because he was not in the team on the back of heavy scores people picked him because they thought he had some talent just the way he batted in those tough conditions we all thought that his uh, you know he'll have a good series and his success eventually in the test series didn't take us by surprise rahul dravid i was more impressed than saurav ganguly uh, you know uh, that, that than i was with saurav ganguly much earlier than saurav ganguly because i played with him in an irani trophy match that i captained and i saw him get an 80 against a punjab on a difficult pitch 
and you could see uh, instantly that this was an India uh, potential and a guy who was uh, uh, destined to play for India. So Rahul's was more sort of predictable, so it was not that much. But the way they batted in that series 96, I knew my time was up. I saw him from a very young age and none of us, including me, had any doubt that this was a child prodigy that we were watching at the age of 14. And uh, in a matter of uh, months after he made his debut against Pakistan in 1989, that he became an established international player. And a few months later, he was a world-class player. So the strides that he made were just incredible, immensely gifted, but somebody who never let his confidence become arrogance. So by far the greatest player that I've played alongside. In the opposition, Imran Khan, for all the qualities that he had, you know, he was not naturally very gifted, but he sort of uh, uh, manufactured greatness within himself by sheer hard work and an intelligent mind. Viv Richards as an opposition was brilliant. I mean, the greatest batsman of the modern era to see his ability, his power and his never say die approach, you know, wanting to win at all costs, wearing that uh, cap and taking on some of the fastest bowlers and playing the kind of shots that you see in modern day cricket. This is a guy who had, whose strike rate was 90 in one day cricket, almost 90 when the rest of the world was going at 60, 70 as a striker. So incredible players all these.